Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is a free Windows-based syslog collector that is going to work out perfect if you are uh, in, a, in a crunch or if you uh, need to just dedicate a Windows machine to running this and you don't have to... Um, you know, buy this program. It is free. It is, this video is not sponsored. I, I just found out a couple months ago that this tool existed and let me show it to you. So I will leave a link to this down below, but Grandstream has this syslog utility that runs on windows and it is super simple and windows is keep is throwing a fit about it because it's, it, you know, it scanned the program, but we're going to keep it and we're going to keep anyway. And then uh, we're going to open this up and extract it. Now, this is no frills, and but it works really, really well. So we can't do necessarily with this. We can't do alerting and things like we can. But if, if we're in a place where we are actively troubleshooting, this is, this is perfect. Um, and if you've got other programs where you can ingest um, – uh, these logs, then you can obviously enhance this. But what we're going to do is we downloaded it. And this is what I like. So we're going to run the file. And, um, yep, we're going to run anyway. And you may get a firewall warning. But right now, this is it. This is all you see. And if I, if I close this, it uh, just goes down by the clock and has the little icon. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to point a couple of services over at this so you can see it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm in my uh, PBX and the IP address of my computer is 192.168.66.33. So I'm going to put that in there. And uh, syslog will say all modules. And we'll do all modules and we'll do errors there. We'll save that and apply it. Then I'm going to come over to my UDR and I'm going to go to the logging section under um, support. And I'm going to uncheck the logging levels because right now everything is just uh, normal. And then remote logging location, I'm going to put remote server and I'm going to put my 192.168.66.33 in there. Default port 514. We're going to throw debug debug logs. But what we're going to do is I'm just for now, I'm going to turn verbose logging on so that we can kick some logs up and then you can see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here. And now you can see that as devices start reporting in, each uh, device gets a folder. And then inside of the folder is a log file. And you can see all these devices now. So my unified devices, my PBX, they're all starting to report in. So I really like this because it's, it's super fast. It's free. Uh, and so if I you know, need to do some troubleshooting, I can throw this on any of my Windows machines and, and not have to worry about it. So let's see. Um, we don't have anything. Network is running too perfectly to have any logs, anything in the logs apparently which I'm not, I'm not going to complain about. Um, but you can see that each host that reaches out to it, like I said, it gets its own folder. And then inside that folder is a log, a log file with a uh, unique stamp. It's, it's really, it's easy. Like go out and download this thing. It is absolutely um, fantastic. So then to uh, stop the program, if you just click this X, it doesn't actually stop it. Um, and you're not going to be able to see this, but I've got to go down underneath my video. You'll see the syslog. And um, uh, what you do is you right click on it and you go to exit. And what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to turn my, my logging off. Blah, blah, blah undo what we did because I closed it and I don't want uh, that stuff just hitting the uh, I'm just gonna put that back here, back here. And we're going to go into that logging uh, more in depth, but I really wanted to show you this. Okay. So we do have a log 
Let's see. So you can see where we wrote some, uh, some data. Syslog's time, 530, that's today. Okay, here's some information from, um, from the PBX, right? So we could scroll through here. If I'm, if I'm troubleshooting a problem and I've turned all the appropriate uh, knobs and levers, then I should be able to sift through here. And there's a ton of information because we just, I mean, we flooded it, right? So if you're troubleshooting, and we'll go through a troubleshooting video and take a look at that uh, so you can see a little bit more about what that uh, looks like. But you can see everything that was going on on the UDR that was being thrown at the log file. Here's another one. So, yeah, it's pretty freaking sweet. It's the Grandstream Syslog Utility Tool. So um, I'll leave a link to it down below. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by using our affiliate links and our uh, Patreon link, they are down below. If you need IT consulting because you're troubleshooting a problem or you need uh, an evaluation of your network, your voice, your security, um, or you need a new setup, reach out at willyhow.com. Go over there, fill out the contact form that's on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.